Hello again, and welcome back to Minecraft Winventions. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the snapshots features. Namely, the light detector to create a very, very powerful timer. This timer is incredibly flexible, nearly lagless, and is very easy to create and takes up no larger than about a 9x9 nine nine area. I believe I'm going to call it the storm clock. Now you see that set the time to 6000. That's a little bit of a prerequisite for the storm clock. Now this, in, this is sort of a side invention that I have over here that is necessary for this clock to work. So we have this command block which sets the time to 6000 which is midday when a coincidentally when a light detector is at its fullest power. Powering this command block negatively and this one positively is this light detector so that whenever we go any time or weather condition ooh, that doesn't power it right up to here this command block will go off resetting it to that and this is here just as a safety in case something bad happens it'll always reset back to 6000 so essentially my time is always daytime always the brightest amount of daytime in my inventions world which is needed for today's invention the interface for this invention is very simple it's one command block and one light switch light switch will activate roughly 30 seconds after I press the button the amount of time can be changed inside the command block the way this works is through weather and the amount of light during a thunderstorm in minecraft let me show you the device starts at the top here and the redstone signal extends all the way to where it would be almost running out where any slight difference in the amount of light would cause it to run out. If it runs out, then this redstone torch will turn on because it won't be powered. That will activate this thing, which is a bit of an inverter I cooked up, although I'm sure someone else has invented it before me. Essentially, when it's powered, it won't do anything. But when it's unpowered, it'll send a pulse. This repeater gets locked, etc. You'll see it in action shortly. When I activate the button, it'll rain. That torch will light up. I'll break that so you can see the light activate. And for 30 seconds, nothing will happen. But once the 30 seconds is up, that light will pulse because of what this thing here does. This can be very useful in all manner of long timers you need for mini games, traps and maps, automated farms, and etc. There you have it. Just before the rain abates. Well, that's just about it for today's invention. A very simple one, but one that I hope will be very useful to many of you in your creations all one of you if you like the video leave some support or not it's fine with me set the time to six thousand and have a good day alright i've got a little secret to share with you behind this wall in weather world there's a bit of an abandoned contraption see when i first had this idea I knew I could do it with a light detector, but I thought it'd be more fun, more Winvention-like, to do it with villagers. This is how I originally came up with the concept. So as you can see, here it is, a fully functioning villager edition of the light detector timer. The villagers go inside when it rains and come outside when it stops raining. That's how it should work. But there are so many problems with villagers. They can end up here, not touching the tripwire, or being outside. And oh, so many other problems. 
I set up four of them and a bunch of AND gates, one of which is a vertical, very compact, I'm very proud of this AND gate, but to no avail, it was still just as random whether it worked or not. So I'm going to try it once, on camera, and if it doesn't work, then you'll know that as fun as doing it with villagers might be, it is not a good solution. In fact, that little asshole just went inside just now without my permission. Alright, regardless, let's try this out. If all goes well, they should all enter the doors. I'll be on the tripwires. Hmm, all went wrong. That should be activated. Let's see who's our problem today. Is it you? It's you! You've decided that indoors... Oh, you have a baby now. When you right-click on villagers with a villager egg, it spawns a baby villager. Who knew? Anyway, so things are sort of working now. If they all leave at the same time when the rain stops, it will have been a success. The two lights will turn on. Hey, it worked! Well, what do you know? Well, there's an overcomplicated, unreliable way of doing what we just did over there, and much less blocks. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a inefficient day.